Hello and good morning. This morning we have a look at the, um, how we can program the uh, Sedona controllers with the uh, tool called the CPT tool. You can actually uh, program the controllers with a number of different ways. And if we have, we just log into www.sixsense.com our uh, website and we ha have a look at a little bit more about Sedona framework systems. You can see that on the website it illustrates a uh, number of controllers uh, which are connected via Ethernet uh, connection to the PC. So what we can then do is we can use the um, uh, number of different programming tools to program the set on a framework controllers. We can either use the um, workbench tools or we can use the online tools, uh, CPT tools. And uh, today's, in today's session we have a look at how we actually um, install the CPT tool. Uh, to your PC and then we can use that for the programming of the of the STC30, uh, 32G and the 20G controllers. So first of all what we need to do is to um, log in to our website. So if you haven't uh, got the profile on our website click the new account to create the profile but if you already have a login then click the login button and just enter your details for the um, for the um, for the website. Um, once you have created your um, uh, your profile, we need to elevate your access rights to get to the uh, support section where you can download the tools. So please email us and uh, your login details, and we can do that. So once logged into the um, to the website, what we do is we go to the support section, and from the support section we go to the support forum. And uh, on this forum, we have a um, basically a tree, tr tree structure where we have a information about various systems and products. If you click the set on a controller range and set on a software, and uh, click for the set on a CPT tool development bundle, um, you can see here the latest tool, which is um, um, which is uh, CPT development February 14.6. Uh, we download that to your hard drive and uh, once the download has been complete we actually um, um, copy the files to your C drive for example. After completing the download of the CPT development tool from, uh, from our website click the open folder to actually to see the file. Uh, what you have downloaded is a zip file and what we need to do now is to unzip that file to anywhere on your PC, any hard drive or even on SD card. Um, uh, let me open the, the CPT development zip file and inside the zip file we got the, the development tool and what we do then is just a copy and a paste that to a C drive in this case. After copying the CPT development tool for on your hard drive we look at inside the folder that we copied uh, CPD development February 14. Uh, this was the latest version at the moment uh, from our website and uh, obviously what you need to do is to download the latest version from the support section and open copy it on the hard drive and open it. You can see there are three subfolders apps, apps tools 1.4, CPD development tool and SDC 20C folder. Apps tool is a program for the simulating a virtual machine of a, a, a STC 20G and 32G controllers. Uh, STC 20C is uh, basically a programming uh, tool for the, the compact BACnet Modbus uh, STC 20C controllers and the uh, CPD uh, development folder is where you have the programming tool for the, all the set owner products. So the first of all what we do is we're just going to create a shortcut, uh, create shortcut uh, where it is, create the shortcut. So we create the shortcut of the uh, cpt.exe and uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to track and drop that to our uh, desktop. So there you are. So we track and drop the uh, cpt tool uh, over there and uh, there we are, cpt shortcut. So if we now double click that, it will basically say on the windows that the uh, uh, you want the more information about the cpt.exe, just run away anyway and that now launches the uh, CPT tool. When you launch the CPT tool first time you can see this uh, button here on the bottom which says open app 
and uh, this is the button to connect to the controller. So if I click that, I basically need to do the uh, give the IP address of the controller, 1011, and uh, uh, username and uh, admin and a password field. We just leave it empty. Press OK, and this now logs into the controller. In this case, SDC 20G controller. But we will come back in the next session for the how to program and how to use the CPT development tool. Thank you very much.